Well, as interest rates rise, many would-be home buyers are wondering if it's still possible to afford a home, but there's a new program called a two to one buy down that could help make mortgage payments more affordable. Yeah, here to explain how that works is the CEO of the Bizarro Agency, Matthew Bizarro. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's great to see you again. All right. Can we begin by just telling us what is the two to one buy down? Absolutely. So we all know that you have to pay interest on a mortgage. And as the Federal Reserve keeps increasing interest rates, monthly payments on new mortgages go up as well. Higher monthly payments can be tough for homeowners to afford. So banks came up with a way to lower them in the first two years of a mortgage. So a 2-1 buy-down lets you lower the interest rate of a loan by 2% the first year, 1% the second year, before it goes into the regular interest rate on the third year. There's also now a 3-2-1 buy-down, which works the same way, but it lowers your rate 3% the first year, 2% the second year, and 1% the third year. So the idea is hopefully that in two or three years, interest rates will be lower, so you can refinance at the end of the buy-down period to a permanently lower rate. All right, so the question is, how does a buyer secure a buy-down? So these are secured via a seller's concession which means a 2-1 buy-down must be included in the closing cost the seller agrees to pay. So to set one up, the seller can offer a seller's concession on their home or the buyer can add a concession to the offer to be used at the closing. So for example, if you're buying a $300,000 home and add $20,000 seller concession, bringing the purchase price to $320,000, at the closing table, the additional $20,000 concession is paid to the bank to qualify for the 2-1 or the 3-2-1 buy-down. So what impact does that really have on the seller and does it cost them any money? It doesn't cost the seller so much. It would be as you increase the price, it increases the transfer tax they would pay. But I think what the seller needs to be focused on, especially if they can't sell their home right now, they need to be utilizing this as a way to draw buyers in. Mm -hmm. This needs to be something positive on their marketing as a way for a buyer to purchase their home with lower interest rates. So is there any reason the banks are offering this option right now? So higher interest rates have slowed the real estate market down, which means the mortgage market is slower as well. So buy downs are a bank's attempt to make people feel more comfortable buying a home. It's basically a move to drum up business, but for the right buyer, it could be a way for them to purchase their home rather than dealing with the high rents that keep going up every year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say if you have to prepay the interest, how does that save money in the long run? Well, it doesn't necessarily save money in the long run. However, what it does is it lowers your monthly payments for the first two, three years. So those are the years when the lower payments tend to be most helpful, especially for first time home buyers who are adjusting to getting used to a mortgage payment. Because when you buy a home, let's look at it, you need to buy things like window blinds, furniture, and it's easier mm -hmm. to do that if you have more cash flow. There's also a psychological aspect. So interest rates are around six and a half now, and historically that's a pretty good interest rate. But because we've been spoiled by low interest rates for the last decade, it gives people pause when normal interest rates return. So the buy-down program can help a buyer overcome that nervousness of the first two years by giving a lower rate. So is it something that you recommend to all home buyers, or does it really just depend on those other factors you're just talking about? It absolutely depends, yeah. right? Because every buyer's situation is different yeah. and everyone's is unique. So this isn't a good fit for everyone. When you're considering the mortgage, you need to look at what's best for you. But if you're considering a short-term needing the help of those short payments in the first year or two, this is something you should absolutely consider. But as always, you wanna consult with your real estate professional to explore what are the best options for you. Mm -hmm. Because let's face it, New York City is a tough and expensive real estate market, so a lot of people don't think they can afford to buy, but there are ways to make home buying more affordable. Sure. You just need an experienced real estate professional to guide you through it. All right, and you're doing that for us, Matthew. Thank you so much for joining us and breaking this all down for us. Oh, you're very welcome. All right, for more information on the two-to-one buy-downs, you can go to bizarroagency.com.